Hi everyone and welcome to another week in the life video. So if you've never been here before, I'm Shannon and I'm a pet portrait and wildlife artist. So this is just the kind of stuff that I get up to on like a weekly basis. It's different every week. Depends what I'm doing, how many commissions I have on and whatnot. But um, this week I think I'll be focusing a lot on my Patreon tutorials because it is February a new month and that means there's a new tutorial for each of the tiers so I'll show you that as I get on with it um, and I have an Etsy order that I need to fulfil this morning and oh I'll show you my new shelves here we go this is my new shelves and they are from Ikea and it's the Ivar, Ivar range anyway I'll link it down below but it's really handy and I've just got all my like packaging stuff there uh, my greeting cards, my bookmarks. Oh, I'm not even showing you them yet. Um, but yeah, I've just put all my packing stuff because sometimes when I'm doing like a tutorial or whatever on my big desk, I don't want to take everything off and do some packing. So it's handy to have like a separate surface where I can do all that kind of stuff and not have to take everything off and whatnot. So yeah really like it. Um, I just need to pack an Etsy order that I've got for a greeting card. Can't wait for the day when I am packing hundreds of orders in a day. <laughs> Manifesting that for me. So if that ever happens, come back to this video and say that you saw me manifest it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I only sell like a few bits here and there at the minute, but all in good time. So yeah, that's my two card orders done and now I'm going to get on with some tutorial filming. So that show you my bookmarks while I am over here. So this is uh, the design that I went with for the first one, just to test it out. And it is my little hair drawing and I put a little ribbon in the top. So when I got it printed... I'll show you. Oh, here. Yeah. So I put a little circle on the design and then I knew where to hole punch and add the ribbon in. And this is New Life ribbon, which is made from recycled plastic bottles. So I'll just, you can see it a bit better there, but yeah, really like it. I just thought I'd try something different and they weren't too expensive to get printed. So I just thought, Let's just try it and I really like how they turned out. Same both sides and I have sold quite a few so yeah. I just thought they'd be good for like craft fairs and stuff along with the greeting cards. Before I do the Patreon tutorials I actually need to catch up with this hedgehog tutorial for YouTube. I wasn't feeling uh, very motivated at all this weekend to do any filming or drawing. And sometimes you just have to honour that and not force yourself to draw when you're not feeling it. I'm just putting the tripod on the <laughs> on the little bar that I've got. Um, yeah, I think if you force yourself to draw sometimes when you're not in the mood to draw, you could potentially end up ruining the drawing. And I just could see that happening. And I thought, I'm going to get more behind if I try and draw this now and potentially ruin it because I'm just not feeling in a drawing mood. Or I could just wait for Monday, do it then, and be a couple of days behind, but not ruin it. <laughs> so that's what I decided to do. And yeah, sometimes you just need a little break. It's, as much as I love the filming and stuff, it can be quite like um, tiring to think of what to talk about and like how to describe what you're doing. And I think I just needed to come with like a fresh mind and yeah, I think, I think I'll be fine today now feeling better for it so yeah thanks for waiting if you're drawing this hedgehog like in real time with me as and when I'm uploading but yeah so I'm hoping to have this like edited and uploaded today I'm all set up now anyway so I will get on with this and I'll catch you up once I've done the next part there we go so I've just done more on the hedgehog done some of the spines and I think I'm going to edit it now. I want to get it up because obviously I am a little bit late with it. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is really random but I've been um, selling some of my old clothes on uh, Vinted 
and yeah it's going well i've managed to sell quite a few things i had a decutter i've been in like a proper decluttering kind of mood recently and i've just sold two clothes two items of clothing while i've been um filming that tutorial so i'm gonna wrap them up and get them ready to send it's freezing in here i've just been using my um, parcel paper to wrap them up so i don't have to buy any bags This is obviously like non-art business related, but this is just my extra little bits that I get up to like here and there. So let me know if you're interested in seeing more like random non-art business related stuff. But yeah, sold two things on Vinted today. So I'm gonna get them sent today, I think. And I'll leave um, a referral link in my description because I don't know if you get like a voucher or something if you sign up through it, but I'll leave it down below anyway. Um, this is not, <laughs> this is not sponsored or anything like that. This is just, yeah, I just like doing this. It's fun. And if you can make a little bit of space and make some extra money, why not? So yeah, I'm gonna be selling my whole wardrobe at this rate. <laughs> no, my absolute crazy hair. This is just my natural hair. It's unruly. Um, I'm just editing the hedgehog tutorial and uh, while I was importing the footage, I just replied to some YouTube comments because I've been meaning to do that for a few days. So comments are all replied to and I'm going to get on with this tutorial now. So I've just eaten my lunch and I got a little notification saying I got an Etsy order and it's another Tabby Cat card, which is really interesting. So I thought, right, I must be ranking for this Tabby Cat card. So I just Googled, Googled, I just searched on Etsy, Tabby Cat card and it's that one. It's literally eight, eight down, so that's really good. Oh my gosh, I don't think any of my cards have ever been that high on the Etsy search function, so that is really good. Love that. Interesting. I must have got the keywords right on this one, or there's just not that much competition out there, maybe. Some of these are lovely, though. Also, look how dead the flowers are on that picture. <laughs> I need to, I need to re-photograph it. <laughs> What's up, Charlie? <laughs> I've just really quickly designed a new thank you card for Etsy and I've just put a thank you for your order on one side with a picture of the pheasant card and then on the other side I've put I hope you enjoy your purchase as much as I loved creating it and if you did please make sure to leave a positive re review I can't speak <laughs> make sure to leave a positive review because I want to try and encourage people to leave reviews more because that does wonders for like your search ranking and all that kind of stuff so yeah and also where to find me I just think this will be better than putting like a a business card in because this is a bit more like actually related to Etsy and I've made it look a bit more fun because I just think that'll be better anyway yeah I'm gonna have a look and see where the cheapest place is to get this printed I'm not too fussy wherever's cheapest this isn't the sort of thing that you want to be spending like loads of money on so yeah I'm just about to sit down and do this tutorial now for patreon so this is the february tutorial and this is the fundamentals one which is the five pound tier and we're doing three different dog ears so that one's a yorkshire terrier a german shepherd and a rottweiler so i've got three different sort of types of ears there and then this gorgeous face this is Inky the Australian Shepherd and this was suggested by one of my patrons called Karen and she sent me over a folder full of like reference photos that she has from um, Australia of these gorgeous dogs. So I did, did a little poll and everyone chose this picture of Inky so that is the one that we're doing. And we've done the eyes so far and now I'm just going to sort of move on to the fur around the eyes. So that is on the advanced tier. And yeah, I will catch you up once I've done the next part. So this is where I'm up to with Inky's drawing. And I'm really happy with how it's looking.
looking really soft and lovely so yeah that is that for today i think i'm gonna sign off now and go and have a chill and i'll catch you up tomorrow morning everyone it's now tuesday and i'm gonna get on with uh, editing that tutorial that i filmed yesterday evening of inky the australian shepherd dog so i'm just gonna sit on my bed get that done quickly just because i like to be comfy while i'm doing little tasks like that and i'll catch you up when i finish that right i finished editing my video it's uploading to youtube you have to upload it to youtube and then post it on patreon so that's just a tip if anyone's thinking about doing it. So in the meantime, I've just been doing a bit of drawing and I've been thinking about them thank you cards that I designed. I've not ordered them yet, but I thought I'm sure I have some brown craft paper that you can put in the printer and it's really been bugging me that I don't know where it went. And I thought, right, I'm gonna have a good look because it can't have just disappeared. And I found it and it was behind my shelves. <laughs> it just slipped behind. So I think, Instead of wasting that, I've printed out some thank you cards for the meantime, um, just because I don't like wasting stuff and also don't know if I really want to spend money on leaflets right now. It's just not something I have to buy. So I'll show you. So they've got all the same information on as the leaflet that I was going to get printed, but it's just on a piece of paper, which is a bit boring and it's not ideal, but sometimes you just have to like make these decisions and just go with whatever's cheapest because you can spend a fortune on these things and the main thing that i wanted was to just show that um encourage people to leave reviews and whatnot so i think i think that is um gonna do the job and i'm just gonna write a little message in this blank space because i've also had an etsy order and i needed something to put in the box so i'll just use these for as long as possible and then might get some proper ones printed, uh, we'll see. Sold another tabby cat card. So this is what I'm putting in the envelope and hopefully I'll encourage some more reviews now. So I've just finished filming the second ear for the fundamentals um, tutorial, which is a Rottweiler ear and it's just a plain black sort of floppy sort of ear. <laughs> Don't really know how else to describe it, but yeah, I'm happy with how that's turned out and then the next one will be the German Shepherd. So I think for the rest of the day now I might just get on with doing some more of my collection that I'm working on. I just filmed a massive video and it didn't even record so here I am starting again. Hello, it's Wednesday and I've just edited and uploaded the Rottweiler ear tutorial so that will be going on Patreon soon and in the meantime I'm just doing a drawing and it's not coloured pencils so yeah that's a little hint on the new collection that I'm working on um but yeah um ignore my crazy hair I've just had a shower and washed it so it's a bit like I don't even I just don't even know so I don't know if you watched the last vlog that I did but I was working on a commission of Ziggy the American Akita uh, my friend commissioned me to do it for his friend who I also know but anyway um, last night he went and took it round to the house and he said that there were so many tears they all were crying and that's always like you know you've done a good job when you get that kind of reaction so yeah that made me really happy and I'm just really glad that they like it and um, so yeah I've not got any more commissions on at the minute if you're a bit quiet at this time of year, you're doing commissions, don't worry. It'll pick back up again and just get on with some other stuff for you. But yeah, I'm just going to carry on with this drawing and upload the tutorial in a bit. Oh, I'm doing an extra tutorial for Patreon this month because I put a little goal on when I started it in November saying when I hit 20 patrons, I will do an extra like two to three hour tutorial and I didn't expect to actually hit that so soon so yeah that means I need to get on with an extra tutorial and we've decided well it's weird because I always had in mind like a, a mouse or something you know, like a small animal and I just put a little post on yesterday asking what everyone would fancy doing and a few people said what about a mouse and I was like that's really weird because that's <laughs> what I was hoping to do anyway so I'm gonna put a couple of pictures on and see which one they like better so yeah gonna get on with that today gonna do some more of this drawing and catch up later 
Right, I've just finished having some lunch and now I'm going to get on with the line drawing for the bonus tutorial for Patreon. I want to try and get that done this month. So I'm going to get on with that. And after this, I think I will carry on with the Australian Shepherd tutorial. I'm in a tutorial mood now, so I'm ready to get on with it. There we go, that is done now and I just need to scan it in and then I can make it into a downloadable PDF for my patrons so that they can print it out and just trace it themselves. So yeah, happy with that. And the scanner that I use is the Canon Lee Day 300. So now I just need to edit the scan. So I need to crop it down. Rotate it, there we go, and I usually edit it a little bit um, so that you can see the lines a bit easier. There we go, I've just posted the line drawing so that is available for anyone who wants to just start make a start on it before I do the tutorial and I think now I'm going to do the next part of the inky tutorial. Hello? What's that on your face? <laughs> what are you doing? Right, I'm just about to start the Australian Shepherd Dog tutorial. I've got it all set up and oh, my mouth is hurting so much. I've got the biggest ulcer. For some reason, I get loads of ulcers. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with this tutorial now. Before, after, this is the next part done. And I think it's looking really good, so I'm happy with that. Morning everyone, it's Thursday and I'm just editing the tutorial that I filmed yesterday of Inky. And I'm just going to get on with this. Hello everyone and welcome back to part three of the Australian Shepherd tutorial. So let's just carry on from where we left off, shall we? Right, I've just finished editing that video and it's exporting, so I just thought in the meantime I've ordered a lot of new luminance colours, so I thought it'd be fun to just try and like swatch them all out and see what they look like. So this first one is Light Flesh 10%. I've just tried to order some colours that I don't necessarily have in the polychromos, which is the usual coloured pencil range that I use. Every time I do a new order, I order like a few more. This one is Naples Orca. I won't do them in any particular order. I've used this one before, but I'll swatch it anyway. Really good for like sandy coloured dogs. That is Brown Orca, 10%. And then this one is Brown Orca, 50%. So, let's try that. I think I've had this one before too. It's a bit grainy if you don't have a lighter colour down underneath it, but nice colour. Also good for doing like sandy coloured dogs. Love this. This is Dark Flesh 5%. Yeah, that's really nice. Burn Orca 10%. Burnt Sienna 50%. And then next we've got this one, which is just Burnt Orca. I've done these in a really weird order, but I don't, I don't know, it doesn't matter. 
burnt ochre, 50%. Burnt sienna, 10%. And then it's like purpley, pinky colour. Good for like tongs and um, noses and stuff like that. And then this is probably one of my most used luminance colours. Sepia 10%. There is no colour like this in the polychromos. It's like a dull grey, purpley sort of colour. Rowumba. 10% beige colour and then we've got this one which is olive brown 10% good for doing like um, reflection like the glow from grass on a dog you know like when you can see a bit of a green colour in their fur it's often quite a bit of green in fur We've got buff titanium. Completely like different colour to the rest but we've got steel grey, I love this. I used this in the Gorilla tutorial. There we go. So that is my luminance collection. I don't have many colours but I feel like these are the best ones to fill the gaps in the polychromos and maybe there's more that I need to try yet so next time I order some pencils I'll order some more and see what I think but yeah I'll show you the gorilla actually I don't think I ever showed you the finished drawing so here we go that is the finished gorilla and I've just got it in the natural daylight because it's a lovely day I'll just zoom in and show you all the details So yeah, that is the finished piece and I am going to try and sell this gorilla. I don't know whether to make prints of it, let me know what you think. But um, yeah, you can come and draw that with me over on Patreon if you fancy it. I'll leave the link in the description and like I said I use the Luminance Steel Grey so you're better off getting that pencil for the best results but if not um, just use whatever you have that's closest. And yeah, that is on the advanced tier, so there we go. I'm really, really happy with it. I think that is like possibly my favourite drawing that I've ever done, which is saying something because I've done quite a lot of drawings. <laughs> but this one just seems to top it. It's just amazing, the reference picture I had to work with. So yeah, love that. I also didn't show you the finished fur tutorial for the fundamentals tier. I think this one is my favourite. So yeah, that is also available on Patreon, so go and have a look at that if you're interested. I completely forgot to update you, but I'm just working on the next part of this tutorial. So I will catch you up when I've finished. There we go, so that is the finished part four filmed. So now I think I might start on the mouse tutorial. I'm just going to add a few listing pictures to Etsy and then I think I might start on that. Ignore my uh, red nose. That just happens at that side for some reason whenever I wear glasses. I think between doing these tutorials I'm just going to send an email newsletter to my email list that I have got through my website because I've not sent one for a while and I've decided to put an offer back on of five greeting cards for £10. Um, I did have it on when I first launched them but I took it off and I'm, I'm going to put it back on. It'd be nice to try and encourage a few more card sales on my website and with Mother's Day coming up, I thought now would be a good time. So, just going to do that now and I'll show you the finished result. No matter how many times I try and spell this word, I just can never spell it. Does anyone else just have one of those words that you can't spell? No matter how many times you write it. Occasion. How do you spell that? Ah, oh, 
doesn't even look like a word anymore right now. But yeah, I'm just using an old email template and I'm just going to switch the pictures out a little bit. There we go. So that is the header of the email, the main picture, and then I've just put a bit of text just saying um, five to £10 offer is back in time for Mother's Day or whatever occasion you have in mind. Shop from a range of high quality wildlife and pet greeting cards. Just apply the code five to £10 at checkout. And then I've just put a few options. I've tried to put like a few different like examples just to make it interesting. And yeah, you can click through to the links and hopefully this will encourage a few card sales. I used to do email marketing for Matalan, so I do, I like putting emails together and email marketing is like the best form of marketing. They always say that building an email list is like one of the most valuable things that you can do. And to be honest, every time I have sent out an email, usually I do get a few orders back from it. So yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Also, I just want to point out that literally took me like five minutes and now I have that template set up for the next time that I do one and all I have to do is change the pictures and the links and the text and whatnot. So yeah, a really, really quick way of doing it. Obviously you have to have people to email, but over time when people look at your website, they can enter the details into the little um, subscribe box. But yeah, that's just another marketing tool that you can do. I can't believe that just after making a huge point of the fact that I can't spell occasion, I didn't correct it and I sent the email with the wrong spelling because my dad replied to it and said oh you just need to spell check next time and I thought I'm sure that I did spell check it and it changed but it didn't I didn't change it so yeah hopefully it won't make too much of a difference but that's annoying um I've had one card from what <laughs> I've had one card order from Amy McKim she's ordered some cards so thank you Amy very much appreciate that and I'll let you know if I get any more well, I was thinking about going for a walk tonight, but I've changed my mind. No chance of my going out there. It's horrible. Spring, hurry up, please. <laughs> right, everything is done for the day and I'm going to go swimming now. Right, fancy it, going for a swim. So instead of going out in that horrible cold weather, I'm going to have a nice relaxing swim at <laughs> the swimming pool. So I'll catch you up tomorrow. Hi everyone, today is Friday and I've just spent this morning editing the Australian Shepherd tutorial. So that's done and now I'm going to pack some orders because I've had two card orders. Um, one from the email that I sent and one from social media I think. So yeah, that is good. Got two orders from sharing that little discount code. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Today is a very good day because I'm getting my car cleaned which is always good and i'm going to my cousin's house tonight to have a horror film night because we love watching horror films hi molly if you're watching i know you're definitely watching because you're the most supportive cousin ever <laughs> hello love you um so yeah i'm in a good mood today it's sunny happy so yeah gonna get on with that now okay so amy if you're watching this is your order so because there's five cards i need a box rather than an envelope and just stamp my logo in it and put some tissue paper inside that I've pre-folded because I'm so organised so Amy has ordered two tabby cat cards so two of those two hair cards so two of those and a bead card one of those. Write out my little thank you note and just pop that in with a business card and then stick that down with a sticker. There we go. Then I also like to put a few of these little wormy things just to make sure you don't move around. Just give it a nice little shake just to check that nothing's going to move around. Then tape it up. That's 
one done. Okay, so this next order is Lucy, if you're watching. Okay, Lucy has ordered a B card, a hedgehog card, a red squirrel card, a stag card, and a blue tick card. There we go. Thank you to Amy and Lucy for your orders. They should be with you in the next day or so. But yeah, um, if you want to order some cards, I'll leave my website link down below where you can use the discount code. It is UK only at the minute um, because I can't figure out how to sort out the international shipping on it. But um, you can order my cards from Etsy anywhere. So yeah, you just won't be able to use the discount code. But yeah, I love doing the cards. I really enjoy the process of like making them and packing them. So yeah, I love doing that. Just going to pick my car up. Got my Crocs on. Crocs are a vibe. So I've just finished filming my hedgehog tutorial. I really wanted to get the body done, but I didn't. So that will be done in the next video. And I just got another card order. How exciting. From Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. I know Rachel as well. So yeah, going to pack that now. Right, I'm at my cousin's house now and I'm going to end the video here. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos in future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.